someone has an anxious mindset when it comes to how they chose to manipulate a situation. In fact, I feel this is someone who is still trying to manipulate things by claiming that you're being picky about a situation. Someone is claiming that you're being abusive. But I feel in so many ways they're disturbed or annoyed because you're intimidated. You're intimidating to someone who feels that you have moved on. You are refusing to open up and this is why this energy is claiming that you're being picky or abusing your position in some way. However, I do feel this is someone who has an anxious mindset because they chose to manipulate something that has caused them to have an uncertain state of mind. Mm. This is someone who is playing a lot of head games, childish games, that, are, that is very disrespectful. Disrespectful in a way that many of you had to make a decision to accept the distance or mm, let someone have their way. This is someone who was uncertain because they ignored you, blindsided your energy, tried to push you to act a certain way. Someone is throwing shade to intimidate you because they feel intimidated by you. This is someone who doesn't want you to move on, but they know that the things they have said and done cannot be undone. They got caught. Someone got caught being fake and making false promises, and they could be shocked because the vibe has changed. I feel this is someone who is wanting validation from you, but they're trying to control something, wanting you to chase, but you're not. Wanting to hang out, but they know they don't have that option. But they also don't see begging as an option. This is someone who is coming out as a narcissist, someone who is trying to drive you to a space that causes you to react impulsively. This is someone who wants you to take a risk, but I feel you're just not speaking. There's no communication or there's some distance. I feel this is someone who is making risk or doing things out of strategy because they're hurt, still sitting in some very toxic energy, wanting you to cling to them third party energy, they threw something away. This is a very forced situation, whether it's between the two of you or they're forcing something to annoy you. Someone's still playing games when it comes to an apology. Someone's still playing games when it comes to an apology. Still playing nice or pretending to be nice. This is someone who's running from you even though they know they got love for you. But I feel the fact that they blindsided you by a decision or ignored you. Something has become uncertain. Because something is now closed off. This is someone who is very intimidated by something. They didn't expect to care for you as much as they do. But now that they feel lonely, they feel exed out from your life. This could also be an ex. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is wondering what you're up to. And what you're doing. I feel like someone wants you to feel some type of way about making a decision, ignoring them. I feel this is someone who is blindsided by you standing up for self or making self a priority. I feel this is someone who thought that they could use this connection or use something, but something has expired. Many of you have become independent and this is someone who is dealing with their own bad intentions, wanting to reach out, wanting to DM you, but you're focused on self. Many of you are blocking this energy, or this is the energy of your ancestors blocking someone who is not prepared for you. Mm. Wow. This is coming out as unfinished business, where someone wants to reach out, text you, but they may have bad intentions. I feel this is someone who doesn't like the fact that you're a abundantly independent or are better off without them but this is someone who got caught being strategic being fake making false promises and they're just shocked because the energy between the two of you is no longer the same this is someone who feels like you will no longer validate or compromise when it comes to their controlling ways or their mistakes because you're not chasing you're not taking a risk many of you are just being silent Many of you are just being silent when it comes to someone who has been very destructive on the path, just waiting on you to move. I feel this is someone who is very strategic when it comes to relationships as a whole, because they're coming out as a, a narcissist, someone who is always shady and, and intimidating or 
doesn't like being intimidated by those around them. I feel this is someone who is ignoring you just to get under your skin, get on your nerves. Hmm. But the fact that they are blindsided by the fact that they can't talk their way out of something, they're still trying to be strategic by giving you the silent treatment, not apologizing, ignoring you, not setting something as a priority. But I feel something about their life has drastically changed or they're stepping into a very dangerous zone in their life where they're wanting you to feel guilty for disconnecting or allowing a situation to just be what it is. This energy believes you just switched up on them. You just changed on them when in fact you saw the real in the situation and decided to protect yourself. Someone thinks that you're being picky, but I feel you're just being honest about a situation, no longer letting someone blindside you with their own decisions. You're no longer allowing something or someone to drive you crazy. Someone thought that you were gonna react in a very devastating way, but now that you won't open up, they're pushed to make a decision. Something about this situation has become more than a lesson, more like a reckoning or a wake up call for someone who has made decisions to hurt you, ignore you, blindside you with mistakes and bad habits, hoping that you will compromise along the way. Where I sense this is someone who is very annoyed by the fact that you refuse to allow what should have or could have happened to affect what you set out to do or even be. Let's get some more energy here from this day. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages here? What are the collective energies? For some of you, I feel like this is someone who thought that in time you would beg or you would come back around. And this is why they have an anxious mindset. Because they know at this point, they can no longer manipulate you. Hmm. I feel in so many ways you have become the missing piece and someone has become an outsider or some type of career criminal. Mm. That is not for everyone, but this is someone who is coming out as false, someone who is lighting a flame, but is afraid when things go up as a disaster. Mm. Someone's definitely caught up in their own energy. This is someone who is coming out as a professional ghoster, someone who is side-eyeing you for turning your back. As I said before, this is someone who feels like you switched up or changed on them when in fact you were just dealing with the hand that you were dealt. I feel this is someone who is coming out as a professional ghoster because they're never truly dealing with their problems. Someone is upset because they feel that you turned your back, but I feel you just had to make some choices so a situation or a person didn't drive you crazy. Someone is very intimidated by you, but they won't tell you that. They don't like the fact that you are not saying them the same or you're giving them back to the streets. Because someone is definitely all in their head about you. For many of you, I feel you have to break free with no regrets when it comes to someone who is now possibly holding a grudge and in crisis. This is someone who is holding a grudge because they know they can't finesse a situation. They're wanting to circle back. I feel you could be the target. Hmm. I feel you could be the target of someone's lies as well because they're still playing mind games. Really upset at the fact that they can't get next to you. Hmm. Upset at the fact that they can't finesse. Maybe you did some things with no regrets as well. Hmm. Or the fact that because of their lies, they can't circle back and you're lo no longer interested in them. I feel this is someone who is also bothered by someone's glow up. The fact that you're trans or you're going through a transformation. Someone could be trying to assassinate your character through betrayal, lies, misinformation. I feel this is someone who is definitely trying their best to be shady with you. But as I said before, you're dealing with a narcissist. Someone who is wanting to be a headache for you. As this is someone who is coming out as a fraud who could possibly be pinching pennies or financially unstable. Someone is definitely living beyond their means or even secretly unemployed. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel like this energy is being shady and trying to destroy your character because they're simply miserable. Someone is miserable with their choices. 
miserable at the fact that they can no longer destroy or distort something through lies, finesse something through mind games. This is someone who has become paranoid and stressed out because you are moving in silence. Mm. Or this energy is so paranoid and stressed that they are moving in silence. Whatever the case, this is someone who is two-faced and stubborn, but whatever they have done or intend to do will then eventually come back to them. Because what goes around will definitely come back around. This is someone who is miserable and paranoid because they know they're about to get, receive the karma that they have sent out. If not exactly what was given, it just might be tenfold. For someone who is going through a lot of mental issues because of their misery. Hmm. I feel something that you did or said was definitely on target when it comes to someone who wants to circle back to you. Someone feels like you have said enough or you're not willing to say anymore. Maybe this is why you have turned your back, but I feel something that you have said is on target. Something that you did was on target because this energy is in crisis because of it. Someone is reflecting on what was said, what was done. It's causing some mental issues, but their paranoia is causing them to lash out at you. This is someone who knows that you are the missing piece, but this energy is coming out as a karmic energy. Someone who has become someone who is still taking something for granted, giving weird energy when it comes to their lives. Mm. For many of, you, many of you, this is someone who is still distorted when it comes to an apology, admitting that they are sorry they're going through a scarcity when it comes to finances, mental, mental stability, spiritual stability. This is someone who is just not making it, not really putting in the effort to change so they could be picking on you because they believe you're an easy target. I feel someone could be moving in silence. This is causing paranoia for this energy because they don't know what you are doing. I feel this energy is holding a grudge because you're not making something so easy. I feel this is someone who thought that their lives would get them through, but this is someone who is completely shocked that you have given them back to the streets. I feel you're not being picky. You just know what's for you and what's not for you. This is someone who also knows this, and this is why they have an anxious mindset, because they know they manipulated things, or they're still doing so. As it seems, this energy is still blinded by their own mistakes. This energy is also blinded by change, because they think time is definitely on their side, but it's not. This is someone who is sitting in a state of crisis, trying to strategize their way out of it, but I feel they're targeting you just to distract themselves from their own misery, but it's only making things more complicated when it comes to mind games, because no one's falling for their games but them. And toxic third party energies who are attached and also teaching them valuable lessons when it comes to secrets. For some of you, this is someone who needs to seek professional help, whether that is financially, mentally, or whatever the case may be. I feel this is someone who is needing to tap into a higher power to get rid of fake energies or this down low or low vibrational energy that they carry. For many of you, I feel like this energy is distorted because they're always moving from a space of strategy and manipulation and this is why they're always in a space of anxious energy of frustration because nothing is never really going their way especially when they're giving everyone the side eye when they're trying to come from a very petty space when they should be really humbled by the grace they've been given for many of you this is someone who moves from a space of strategy because they don't feel like something will come back around but i feel once it does it won't be something they will question again. As I said before, this is someone who is doing things from a very petty space or state of mind because they're sitting in a space of misery. And this is why things are always complicated. This is why things are always complicated when it comes to someone who is always playing mind games and coming from a very strategic place. As I sense this energy wants you to be a prisoner of the past as well as the memories just like they are. Because from what I can see, this is someone who expects you to hold on to them, no matter how toxic they become, or even how toxic they have been. Let's get some more energy here. Let's 
So this is definitely someone who needs to put in more effort. I mean, if you had to cut ties because they're always accusing you of things that they know they have done, especially when it comes to manipulation and abuse, this is someone who is intimidated by you because you are not always right, but you're not always in a space where you need to be. If they accuse you of playing pretty games, then they know that's their energy. I feel in so many ways this is someone who follows the crowd, but I feel their past is starting to catch up with them, especially when it comes to being a chameleon. Someone who is always shape-shifting and becoming who they feel they need to be. Wasting time, being dishonest. Mm. But I feel their mistakes have been very careless, especially when it comes to affecting others as well as themselves long-term. Because this is someone who is always cutting corners, but I feel their actions are counteractive as they're always doing what others least expect, especially when they're coming from this chameleon energy. Mm. As I said before, this is someone who wants you to hold on to the memories of the past just to keep you as a prisoner. Mm. Just to hold on to them no matter what. Yet I feel what they thought would be a trauma bond or a life sentence only became a stepping stone and something that no longer fits or suits you. I feel this is someone who was always cutting corners, but I feel the past is now catching up to them as this is someone who made a lot of mistakes following the wrong energies of the wrong crowd. Someone was also gassing this energy up, and this is why they're miserable, always accusing you of causing this misery, but now that you're no longer in the picture, there is no one to blame but themselves. This is someone who knows that the odds are stacked against them, and this is why they're wasting time, but... They're also accusing you because you cut ties. This is someone who is crying wolf, but I feel they're also needing to understand that they have been a chameleon in this situation. Mm. I feel like this is someone who knows that the odds are stacked against them. They're cutting corners because they know they, can't, they don't stand a chance. This is someone who is also learning some lessons that they need to overcome, and this is why many of you are not interested. Many of you are disgusted, possibly even repulsed by this energy, throwing their weight around, disrespecting you or the connection. Hmm. Because what they've said, what they've done, hmm. what, what cannot be undone, Someone's definitely lying through their teeth, hoping others believe them, mm. hoping others are foolish, hoping that you will foolishly take them back after they have lied to you through their weight around. Mm. But I feel their problems are stemming from their multiple personalities or their mood swings, mood changes. Someone definitely isn't a, a chameleon for no reason. I feel this is someone who felt like they had the game unlocked, but I feel in so many ways that this person's game is totally weak. I feel this is someone who has become a bully by spreading lies and accusing you of things causing conflict. This is someone who makes a lot of guilty or accusatory statements here mm. just to make you feel guilty. Mm. Um. This is someone who's playing a lot of games, but I feel many of you are not clueless. You're just allowing this energy enough rope to hang themselves. Because they're playing games to break hearts of others. Because they don't want to get their heart broken. Mm. So they're holding something over your head. Or they're telling you that you said things or did things that you didn't. Mm. But I feel something is about to come up to the surface when it comes to someone who is always playing games. Yeah, since this time they're only mad. Because in this scenario, they lose. I feel this is someone who is intimidated, insecure, playing games with the heart, and holding some things over someone's head. Whether those are lies or telling you you're emotional, whatever it is, this is someone who is still playing mind games, spreading lies and causing conflict because they're not wanting to talk about the bigger situation or talk about their intentional disrespect. As I sense, this is someone who wants you to feel shame, but you didn't let the pain they caused set you back. I feel this is definitely something that affects them. And this is why they're spreading lies or trying to affect you in a very false way. Only because they're too prideful to have a heart to heart or admit they haven't changed. I feel this is someone who is just not accepting accountability. 
this is why they have yet to reach out, but I feel something is about to be set in stone. Because I still still see you defending your position, defending your honor, even if it's in silence. Because whatever you're doing or not doing, it's affecting this energy in a very big way. Because they can't get it off their mind or they can't sleep. And whatever misery they sit in, I feel it's been multiplied by the strength of their sense. As I sense whatever's coming their way, they never expect it. Because love on you just won't get it. Especially when it comes to the choices they have made. As I sense in so many ways, I feel like this energy thought that you would reach out. And now, they could be resenting you for not giving in. Or even the fact that they feel you've already forgotten them. Because in so many ways, many of you are allowing this energy to stew in the mess they have made. And trust me, that was never a part of the plan. Let's get some more energy here on the Spirit Confirmation Holy Spirit. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? Someone wants to make an offer, but this energy is still wearing a mask because of the misery, the wounds from the past, as well as the present. This is why this energy cannot sleep, and this is why they don't trust themselves, and they always end up following the crowd. They're not following their own intuition, and this is why they're going through challenges. Because they don't really have an end game. Someone doesn't have an end game when it comes to their strategies. Not saying that it's effective, but someone is wearing a mask. And this is why they're still going through challenges when it comes to things that are not healed. This is someone who is still doing things of free will when it comes to temptation, separation, pride and ego, decisions. Someone abandoned something because they couldn't be patient. Hmm. I feel this is someone who abandoned something. Now they're having to make a decision when it comes to patience, trust, and losing the frequency when it comes to forgiveness, intuition, family, understanding. Someone is still sitting in a space of denial. Someone is still rejecting a choice. Someone is still rejecting family. Someone is still not seeing there's no end game when it comes to abandoning something or someone out of pride and ego. This is someone who will come to an understanding. It doesn't have to come to a space of family. This could be a close connection, a friend, a family member, or um, someone who has crossed your path. But I feel this is someone who wants to make an offer but doesn't know how to ask for forgiveness. This is someone who's going through a lot of spiritual lessons when it comes to karmic connections. This energy is going through blockages when it comes to differences, cycles, and not being able to surrender because of the mask that they wear. I feel this is someone who is guarded when it comes to their integrity. I feel they don't see the signs when it comes to their stability. This is why they can't make amends when it comes to a twin flame energy. There's no compassion because they sit in a space of addiction. Whether that is addictions to weaknesses, instant gratification, alcohol, drugs, please take it how it resonates. But someone does has weaknesses that keeps them lost and numbing the pain. I feel there are secrets. <laughs> I feel there are secrets that cause them to be in a space where they don't recognize self. And this is why they don't understand the lessons and the blessings of the journey. I feel this is someone who doesn't recognize their guilt. There's still secrets, many keys that are connected to fear, destruction, and rejection. As I sense this energy has allowed their fear to guide their choices as well as motivate their impulses. I feel this is someone who is going through a space where they refuse to be the problem or they refuse to accept the shame which is the very reason they're trying to cause some type of pain with you. 
trying to deflect by showing you some type of di disrespect, hoping that you feel some type of shame or pain for disconnecting or standing your ground or allowing them to just stew in their mess so they deflect their shame and their pain onto you, hoping they don't have to overcome obstacles of their own shame. I feel this energy has put themselves in a space where they can't be trusted all because of their manipulation or the fact that they're always accusing you of things that you haven't done. But I feel in this season, this energy is about to be awakened to their own light or the darkness that they have created in the lives of others, as well as the sacrifice and awakening they have created for themselves. Let's get some more energy here. This is someone who sabotages relationships, overthinking things and procrastinating, sitting in a space of denial, especially when it comes to karmic relationships and spiritual guidance, differences that they have yet to settle within self. This is someone who comes out of a space of ego, pride, and they do this out of free will. This is why they have so many challenges to overcome, so many challenges that they choose to avoid. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a werewolf energy, like a wolf in sheep's clothing, where only they know what it takes to hide their turmoil and pain. I feel this is someone who is pro procrastinating because they don't like the way the healing feels or they don't like the way it feels when it comes to be accountable for their pain. This is something that is unfamiliar for someone who has become something that they claim they would never be. Mm. This is someone who sits in the mundane, somewhat of an imposter syndrome, where they have put themselves in a position where they stand in doubt, but they're in a room full of their equals. I feel there is no trust wherever they are. There is no stability. There is no foundation. But this is someone who knows that the monster they once feared is now the monster they, they have become. I feel this is someone who claims that you are evil, yet, but it's only because they know that they have stepped into that energy or that position. Because you're no longer people pleasing them or sitting in a position where you want to compromise or give in to their energy. This energy is being hateful towards you. This is someone who knows that they created a mystic swamp of lies. This is why you had to abandon this carnival and step into your wisdom and step into a space of a deeper truth. Here with the owl as well as the raven energy. This is a death to create more knowledge and transcend into a, a higher power of intuition. You had to leap into a, a new faith. Here was a toad energy. This is personal growth transformation of you letting go, letting go and stepping into a light of a, in illumination. Here with the lantern. You have become the key. Mm. You have become the key in someone's hidden potential. And whether they find their way or not, that is not up to you and that is not your burden to carry. However, you are the key when it comes to self-illumination, understanding and accepting, when it comes to someone who is yet to accept their failures in life. Projecting, reflecting, I feel something that you're not doing, whether that is not giving into their, their games, their challenges, because this energy will challenge you. They will challenge your heart. You have to be mindful of that. Mm. I feel the challenges that you bring to this energy is not forceful. It's not something that is done intentional. In fact, I feel it's done through your absence as well as your silence. Because someone has cursed their castle. Someone has cursed their life by being a fox, an enigma. Someone who is always trying to adapt to a situation instead of compromising, come from an authentic space. This is someone who's coming out as a shape-shifting fox. Someone who is yet to transcend, change, or recover from the damage they've created to self. I feel this is someone who has allowed something to become an eerie graveyard. They become a fallen angel that has very venomous words. Wow. This is someone who can be very toxic when it comes to their words and their energy. 
especially when they can't have their way because I feel this is someone who is acting this way because they can't fix or redeem themselves from what they know they have done or what they don't want to acknowledge. I feel like this is someone who is avoiding you because they know what they have become. Because they're still sabotaging things. Especially when it comes to love, light, as well as giving and receiving in this season. I feel this is someone who needs to surrender to change, surrender to spiritual lessons, because something will continue to be blocked when it comes to abundance and forgiveness. This is someone who needs to change their frequency to get what they claim they desire. In fact, I feel for many of you, this, this connection they have with you, with you is something they wanted. This is something they prayed for, yet they played with it a free will and intention by playing with your heart as well as your energy. I feel this is someone who failed to surrender. They failed to surrender when it comes to trust, family, pride, ego. Someone abandoned something because they couldn't be patient. I feel they caused a separation because they chose to allow someone to gas them up or they simply followed the crowd. But I feel whatever they did, they did it of their free will their own intention, even if they allowed others to guide them in the wrong direction, they also did that of their own free will. And now they're going to have to deal with the consequences and the cause and effect of it. For many of you, this is someone who is still upset at you because they feel their blessings have been blocked because of the separation or how you chose to deal with things because Things are just not going right, but I feel things are not going right because of how they chose to deal with life. There are also karmic third parties here, pride and ego, them being delusional, not making the right choices, as well as being in denial, avoiding you, avoiding a real conversation, or just stepping into a more adult way of seeing, as well as being. This is why this is someone who is yet to be guided by a real light, but in so many ways, this is someone who is trying to deprive you at their own expense. And this is why they're dealing with this wrecking ball they call a life. Because they were careless and unreliable. Now you could be living rent free in their mind. Because even when they're trying to stop thinking about you, this is someone who can't stop thinking about what was done. I feel this is someone who is thinking about how they allowed someone to gas them up, but the fact that you are woke to how they chose to do things, that is also disturbing them because you are now unresponsive. There are missed calls now that you are woke. This is someone who was lying to you just to keep you hostage. Tell you guys, this is someone who is still in denial about their ego and third party energies and they feel like they're lying to protect you, but I feel they're on their head about something because they know they were trying to hold you hostage, keeping you in the dark about something so that you couldn't make a conscious decision or an informed decision about a situation that they know was toxic because they're full of lies. And this is why they were unresponsive to you. For many of you, you were always picking up with them, but I feel they just stopped reaching out because they refused to answer questions that they know that you had. And instead, this energy knows they were trying to drain you, but they play the victim in this situation, yet they are on a mission to intimidate you because they are intimidated, causing worry and trying to trigger you through fear. This energy is coming out as bitter, angry, frustrated, and agitated by the fact that they can't destroy something that you have built. Yet this energy admires you from afar. Even though in, they abandoned this connection, this energy felt like they only had this one time to do it or you only live once. Yet this is someone who is now trying to run back to you. Wanting to, thinking about it. Knowing you're loyal, yet they're not. This is why they're bitter or something is a hard pill to swallow. But I feel this is someone who put themselves in this position because of their insatiable desire to have more than what they need or should even have. This is someone who has allowed something to become bittersweet, all because of their choices as well as their mistakes. 
because it's all become a wrecking ball for someone who is still blaming you for everything. As it seems, this energy has attached themselves to a sense of delusion or illusion. But I feel this is someone who is not the victim here. Clearly, they're the wrecking ball because they destroy everything in their path, even if it's not in their way. Final confirmation here from this deck is being exposed when it comes to this energy. Something is being exposed when it comes to something that is strange and sinister. I feel the destruction they caused in the lives of others is now being that same destruction in their life because they couldn't be patient and learn from their life lessons. Now it's become their biggest burden. They can't move on because they can't finesse their way out of this. They're in too deep when it comes to arousing fear and alarm, scare tactics. I feel there's un deniable issues here, underlying issues that they refuse to heal, but something is reaching its peak when it comes to betrayal. They violated something intentionally, intentionally with their actions and their choices. It caused great disappointment because many of you know this energy is toxic and was trying to annoy or agitate you. Mm. This is why you're over it. Something is just too toxic. This is something that has been illuminated to you. Mm. And I feel it's also illuminated to them. Because many of you have already cut your ties. I feel for many of you, you cut ties with this energy and they're triggered. They're triggered because they can't win at all costs because you cleaned house. Mm. Eliminating things that are no longer desired by your energy and they're triggered by it. They're set off by it. They feel cursed by it. They feel cursed by the fact that they can't talk their way out of something where they went too far, did too much, said too much, and now you don't feel safe in their hands. I feel this is someone who was on an ego trip, never thinking that you would clear them away or cut ties with them, and now they feel their decisions are something they shouldn't regret. They feel that you should regret it. They still have an ego where they still feel they're too big to fail, all because they have yet to hit rock bottom. But I feel this is someone who's about to hit a dark space of the bottom that most don't survive. This is someone who will regret ever believing that their karmic justice would never come back to them. I feel this is someone who is still invested in the smoke and mirrors, misleading, embellishing, ghosting, Gaslighting. This is someone who is psychologically manipulating things, running from their problems, and doing it strategically. This is why many of you don't feel safe, and this is why they have cursed their lineage, their bloodline, as well as their future. For many of you, you are out of the way. You don't want to be a part of their karmic dead. Wow. The smoke and mirrors. For many of you, this is someone who has a growing behavior issue. They're somewhat antisocial, somewhat hostile, homeless, on the rebound, and making long-term investments that will only burn them out. But I feel this is someone who refused treatment and it only prolonged the pain when it comes to them believing that something wouldn't catch up to them, especially when it comes to excessive baggage. I feel this is someone who will be burnt out believing that they were too big to fail because they are failing. Failing when it comes to life, finances, and affairs of the heart because they are mechanical. Thinking logically is just not what they do. I feel this is someone who is without emotion. Hmm. Avoiding things, still being a sheep, upset because you won't follow, you won't be hypnotized. But I feel they're going to have a lot of things that hold them back in this season that cannot be undone. They're just going to have to endure the cycle because they abandoned you by being careless. Hmm. Now they're wanting to investigate something or they're watching you trying to have a one-up on you. As I said before, believing that time is on their side, they abandon something because they're on a mission, still being salty, this energy is playing the victim, holding you hostage because they have an insatiable desire to be right, knowing they're wrong. I feel they're being pointed out, rejected. Mm -hmm. There's some financial issues, this energy is being a diva, doing a tantrum. 
thinking opposites attract. This is someone who has gotten themselves into a very toxic situation that isn't going anywhere. And it just might be the very reason they're lashing out at you because they know they can't be with you. Someone has been agitating you for a while now, but the fact that you're humbly covered and spiritually guided, this energy you could not take would have take what has been given to you abundantly. Final energy here. Final energy here on this video. Confirmation. Final day. Final day. Confirmation. For many of you, this is someone who became a brick wall. This is why they're going through challenges. This is why they're going through blockages because they're not coming from their intuition. They're coming from a very unauthentic space. Still not lear learning from their spiritual lessons. Still not woke or surrendering. If this energy is spying, knowing that you're cleaning house, rather having peace than the chaos. This is someone who knows they can't talk their way out of this. Can't talk their way out of being a fraud. Mm. Wow. This is someone who knows that you're over the hype. They have agitated a situation for too long. No longer wanting to put up with someone who is trying to finesse their way. I feel this is someone who risked it all with no regrets. Because they refuse to be honest, transparent, straightforward when it comes to your energy. I feel this energy couldn't be an adult about a situation. And instead they chose to antagonize you. Knowing that you have low tolerance. Someone is needing to take something for face value. They need to be straightforward, but they're still pretending to be fake woke. And this is why they're talking in circles. I feel they could be talking in circles because they have ulterior motives when it comes to harsh words, separation, even though they claim they have no hate towards you. I feel this is someone who is holding some type of resentment for how strong you have been as you didn't allow them to affect your chances or your life. If they feel entitled to, but I feel at some point you started to realize something wasn't safe. You started protecting yourself, especially when it comes to your challenges, your responsibilities. You know this energy was gassing you up. All talk, bold face lies. As I said before, you've become a major key. You know something is out of sync when it comes to someone who's entitled and coming out as a fraud. I feel this is someone who's starting a war because they don't know what to do with their unfamiliar feelings. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to hate you, but it's all they can do to deal with the sacrifices and the losses they have. I feel it's only made them spiteful because they're not dealing with it. They're overlooking it. They're triggered. Someone is triggered traumatized sitting in solitude for some of you this triggered energy and traumatized energy could be yours please take it how it resonates but i feel you could be showing tough love or many of you are just not dealing with this as a whole i feel this is someone who knows that you have receipts or they feel exposed by something they feel like they can't backtrack they can't revisit something with you because now you have no words now that something is out of sync i feel something that you're doing is very important essential i feel it's definitely a major key when it comes to someone who knows they need to be brutally honest with themselves but this is someone who is still senseless and irrational when it comes to something that has been broken beyond repair this is someone who doesn't want to feel weak or seem weak behind a situation that they have still yet to give you your flowers and this is why they're going through losses setbacks and failures this is someone who's taking L's left and right and it's giving petty, immature, close-minded energy of someone who is still reckless and everything is still falling apart and they're ignoring it. This is why they're tapping into mind and they're still savagely trying to attack you or play this silent game because they know they got caught up mm. playing the victim. Yet still dealing with payback of karma. This is someone who's in their feelings and it's unexplainable. This is someone who is now pressed when it comes to sudden change. I feel this is someone who was given a curveball when it comes to something that you did or didn't do. I feel this is someone who is still playing mind games because they're trying to guilt trip you. They know something is unfair, but they're, they're upset. They're impulsive. They're angry. And it's all starting to hit different that something is set in stone or you're over it or it's out of your hands. Many of you 
are letting someone know that something is the last straw when it comes to an entanglement or someone retreating, being in hermit mode. This could be your energy or theirs, but there's an energy here still trying to figure it out. It's all starting to hit different that they can't replace you. This is someone who needs to confess something true feeling something needs to be in, revealed when it comes to something that's connected to them being a fraud they risked it all for nothing and this is the curveball many of you dodged a, a real bullet here there's a sense of urgency because something is going viral this energy is detached mixed feelings when it comes to you foundation and the fact that they have learned to listen when it comes to saying goodbye it seems like um, no matter how reckless they became, this energy thought that you would always make room for them or make light of what they've done. But it's the very reason many of you thought it was necessary for something to change. Because things couldn't continue to go this way. There, this is why there is some type of plot twist here. And I feel for many of you, this was always out of your hands. You didn't make this choice. I feel the Most High, the guides, allowed this to go this way. As someone needs to learn to get next to you, cannot be through the energy of hate. I feel like someone's retreating, pretending like they're woke to a situation, but it's all lies, it's all cap. This energy is more lost than they ever have been. Especially since you've realized no matter what you do or don't do, it will never be enough. Now there's no love because there's no trust. And I since they had to learn the hard way that your kindness was never your weakness. I feel someone is needing to be an adult about a situation where there is betrayal, where they violated the trust, your connection, or your space intentionally through their actions and even their words. Mm. Entanglements, third party energies cause something to be out of your hand and this also caused a curveball where something is hidden different when it comes to someone who is in savage mode because now they're receiving that karma. Mm. I feel the karma is the fact that the version of you that they created was never a true reality. Where they're coming from a space of resentment because they don't know how to truly even feel about you. Yet I sense had they never played the games that they play, they would have never put themselves in a position to lose. 